What is up everyone? Welcome to this tutorial. In this video we're having a look at the timeline widget that you can find within Jet Elements for Elementor. Here is how it's going to look. It's called Timeline. Let's drop it on a new section. And you start with a basic style preset right away. And this is pretty great because you've already got a design to work with. You don't have to create stuff from scratch. All right, so let's have a look at the cards tab right here in the content tab. So here it goes, the number of items that you can add to your timeline. As you see, you can go ahead and add more and more items. You're not limited by those four that you get from the start. And let's see what you've got inside every item. So the first is show image. Let's have a look. Right, so you can add images to your cards. Let it be that. Looking pretty nice. So then you add the title, Meta, which will appear over here, as you can see. Then there goes the description that will be here on the card. Then the point. As you see, every card has a point next to it. So here choose the icon that will be displayed in there. For now this is a calendar but you can totally go ahead and choose from a huge number of icons you've got. And you can actually change the point content type. It can be icon or text. If you don't want the icon in there you can simply, I don't know, just go ahead and add some text in there. So, like that. Alright, now let's move on to the layout tab we've got. First off, you can animate the cards. So, they will appear on your page with the animation, with the animation effect. Alright, so then there goes the alignment. The horizontal alignment and the vertical alignment. So, you see how layout changes when we change the alignment. In this case, when you change the vertical alignment, you change the alignment of these points according to the cards. And here you can move the sliders and add some horizontal space and some vertical space. All right, now let's move on to the style tab and see what we've got in there. So, of course, border type, border radius, padding. And you can also set the effects on normal, hover, and active. And it's all about the cards for now because we have opened the cards tab. As you see, you can change the size of the arrows. The arrows are those things you've got on the sides of every single card. If you don't want any arrow at all, simply move it down up to zero. So uh, here you go, you've got no arrow. Then if you want uh, the background to change on hover, just go ahead and add this effect. And it's the same on active. So when the card is active, meaning when this timeline progress moves up to this card, you see that it changes color. Okay, now the image. You see you can change the spacing between the image and the text on the card. Then there goes meta. You change the typography settings. 
like so you can actually add the border change the border radius and add the padding and margin to this meta then there goes the content and the content this is actually what you've got on a card itself And you've also got a number of settings for this content. Then there goes the title where you can change the typography and color and the behavior of this title. Like so, then goes the description, which is also the content here inside the card. And I've also got a number of settings for it. Then there goes the point. And as you already know, the point is this thing on the side of every card. Like so, and you've got the typography settings and the size of the point, so you can make it either bigger or smaller, and you can change the color, like so. And then there goes the line, which marks the progress that moves from the first card to the last card. All right, and here's set the line color, which will be the color of the background or not active progress, and then the progress color, which will actually be. Uh, this line like so let me quickly go ahead and change the color of the meta so we have one color scheme for this timeline and this is actually looking pretty nice and we will need a uh, spacer here just so the line moves right to the last point okay here we go and here is how your project timeline may look if you add it with the help of jet elements plugin for elementor i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in another one